everyone and welcome back to the last Leviathan. For as you as always, so the last couple of episodes we were doing this guy. I'm not going to be going near that today because, well, I got a free, uh, couple of stars and I'm pretty happy with that. Today we're just going to probably build a big ship and see if we can get it to float. That seems to be the challenge of the last Leviathan. So we have this guy that we did actually quite enjoy. This worked really, really well with what's going on. What other ships did we have? That, I believe, was our killer for our fighter class. Uh, fighter class 2. Uh, modern boat. Iron Blast killer. That was the one that we... That is... No, that that one. Which we figured works really, really well. Apart from thinking like a, a rock at first. Look at this little guy. And then it's up out to the sea we go. Yes, basically, um, we're going to be working on keeping most of the ship below uh, instead of upwards and whatnot. Hello. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Anyway, let's dock. Uh, let's go with a new guy. Of course, stick with actually doing this right. I'm not actually too fussed by how big this might actually be, but uh, we're just going to you know, start see what we can do. Uh, apparently, I'm good doing this. That's not really what I wanted, but we're just going to go with it and see what happens. Now we just kind of want to extend this out to the front a little bit. We want to. We're going to go for a rather large ship here. So, uh, let's see. Do I want it to? Yeah, we'll put it along here. So we haven't really done a big ship yet. So, I mean, I kind of want to do that really, and we'll see how we get on. You never know. May actually be well. May go pretty well. You never know. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll soon find out, won't we? Uh, now, everybody, I've noticed some people saying, try and keep it so, uh, oh, give me that back. Some keep it, like, too above the water and everything. Now, some boats are slightly bigger. We're going for rather large ships, so it's, but it's going to be, obviously, more in the bottom than in the top. So, we want to, let's see, do we want to go with some decking? I think we want to go with some decking just to fill this in. Keep some of the weight off, though. There we go. Excellent. I thought you can see him jumping about. Where is he? He's sitting right there. Oh, oh, no. That mind is he's deciding to not move anymore. Right, so we want to bring this down. Oh, I'm in the water now. We do probably want to kind of fill this out at the front. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just do. Can I put that there? Yep, there we go. Right, so we're going to have something like this. And then, let's see. If we just put this down like this. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm, I'm hoping that it will work rather well. Right. So let's take that away just now. Because we're going to maybe just turn it into this then. There we go. Right. Uh, okay, that's still there. Right, so we have our basis of what we're going to do. Let's see what we can else can do then. Now, we do want to bring this down pretty far because it's going to be a rather large ship. Water, stop getting in my way. So we do want to kind of, you know, yep, yep, yep. Unnamed ship. Now, do we have that? That's down pretty darn far. Hmm. Let's see. We also want to, because if we can put some of this decking in here, that will keep the weight up. Or we off a little bit. Oh, no. Give me that there. Plus, I want a ship that's literally like riddled with cannons and is just like a beast. I want to. That's my main aim at the moment, really. But, I mean, suppose it again float. That's the main thing. Now, this is doing this. So, I mean, do we want to. Let's see what we can do. Uh, give me these guys. Right. If we do that, that's going to create quite the helm. Well, maybe not the helm. That's probably not the right word, is it? Right. And one there, and one there. And we're going to be wanting this here. Right, so we have our sort of big chunky boat area. Big chunky boat area. That sounds wonderful, my head. What? Uh, we do need it to kind of come to a point. No, that's the only thing. We need it to actually come to this point. How well would that look in there? Not the greatest. Hmm. 
Ah, we'll soon find out if it works. If it doesn't, then we can alter it. But we do have this, and that's going to obviously create a lot, of, uh, a lot of weight on that front bit. But we want to just kind of bring this all the way along. This might not be the work. Oh, I mean, it's trial and error. These games are all about trial and error. It's the same with sort of things like Terror Tech and everything. We might leave that slightly off of the there, actually. Like, leave a lip sort of going on. And let's do that. Let's uh, see where we want to go. Uh, now, that is going to be there. So, let's see. Our keel on the bottom would probably be better for the ship. And then we could have the keel going... Oh, no, it's not the way I want it, but it's probably not going to go any other way. Let's see, we do want to kind of turn this into a point. But in order to do that, we're going to need to have something in the middle for that to connect to. That can only connect on either side. Damn it. It can't connect to this. Dang it. Alright, so what if we actually just fill this in? I mean, we're keeping that middle bit empty. So, let's see. Because it's going to be a fairly large ship. I wish you could change the colour of this. This is going to sink like a log at first, isn't it? Well, we'll find out. We shall find out momentarily. Right. Okay, so we have the keel, which looks really awful. Why? I did that deliberately, don't worry. Now, let's see. If I just actually had that coming up from that. That seems a little bit better that way. Let's see if this actually works. It come that way. There we go. Right. Okay, so that's not too bad looking. I'm pretty chuffed with that. We do need to fill this bit in. No, that's the only thing. I mean, I don't know if you could take that away and leave that, but I don't need, need something to connect together. I will leave it. Leave it just now, but we do want to kind of connect these up in some form. Let's uh, put that down there. That down there. Just maybe go all the way along, maybe? Let's see. as well. Right, so we have that. We have the big hole in the middle, but I mean, this... No, that's probably not going to be the best mm, looking design there. So we'll probably just get rid of that just now and then. Alter a little bit. No, up. So we're going to have a fairly, like, bomb-heavy type ship, but we want that, to be honest. Let's see, we maybe want to change that into that. You always kind of go for this sort of design anyway, so... And we'll leave that like that just now. This is going to sink like a log. I don't know whether to spend, span the back because we don't actually have much area for... Yeah, probably going to need to do that actually. Do we want to put it... <sighs> as free cross... Because we've got five and three... Well, not five, really. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might want five down the bottom to extend this out a little bit. You know what? I'm going to do that. That's essentially what we were trying to do, but... It's making it pretty. Pretty in the bottom doesn't really matter, I think. Because we want to, to have... Well, it goes like... Because it kind of comes in and in and in, but we want it to stay that this bit of the bottom needs to stay this this side because we need to have what if we just take them away just now and actually make it these right and then we could like you know if we do that that probably could still work actually sitting the way it was so we'll just replace this back in and we'll find out Actually, that may be a better idea to put like that. No. That has been deleted. Could someone put that back in. Thank you. Because we kind of want to have at the back the two big rudders and three large movement things. So, because we, we wanted to just do that. No idea how well that's going to work, but we'll, we'll see. 
We'll see. I mean, how well does... Don't know how well this is going to work, is it? How well does this sink? Oh, actually. Well. That actually... And how well does it move? I'm actually really chuffed with that. That moves incredibly well. That is actually going at full power. Excellent. That is actually really, really good. Okay, so we have that. We do have that bit down the middle, though, that's kind of maybe a cause for concern. Maybe. But we do need to get some weapons on this. So let's see. What do we have here? We've got some armor that we could put on. Maybe we could shove some spikes. Uh, let's see. Let's put some of this on. And some on that side, some on that side. Two down there, and two down there. How well does this think? <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm really happy with that. And now, how well does it go? And we don't want it to like, completely full throttle. Oh, very, very nice. I'm actually really happy, so I'm going to save that just now. Save over that. So we've got some armor. Well, we probably needed some armor down here, though, just to kind of block these little bits from getting hit. Yeah, just put a couple of wee bits in there, a couple of wee bits in there. Excellent. Armor is always good. Is always really good. Could have a figure head if we really wanted to, you know, just sit it right at the front. Now, this is, I do know that you, some people have been able to sort of create like, little designs out of this. Because obviously they are in a way just, you know, yep, go that way. Like actual bows, or whatever you call them. I've forgotten what you call them. You know what I mean. Uh, now, we do want to have cannons, and we have this here, so it's kind of more try to get the top bit. Ah, hi, I, I see you. I see you sitting down there. Weapons, right, let's see. Now, I was reading that they actually took melee damage off. I don't know if that is a, a thing. So, if they took melee off, then this is going to be pretty much... Oh, no. What did I just delete? It's going to be pretty much pointless putting that in. So, this is going to just be a cannon-only type ship. Now, what we will need is anything at the front we need to balance out. But let's put... We need some sails as well. That's a huge sail. That is a huge sail. What if we actually... That one followed by that one. Actually. Ah, crud. Stop doing that. Stop deleting my stuff. What did you delete? It was armor. This one. No, not that one. That one. Yep, that one. Right, movement. Um, hull, what we want to do is actually build a little mast like area. What if we put it on barrels of rum? This. Nope. Nope. Put that down the middle because then that's probably more sufficient. And then we could just put this onto that one. And we could put this one onto that one. Let's see, how well does this work? Oh. And away we go. That is actually incredibly fast for what it is. It's a big ship. And it's moving like really, really fast. So let's just slow that down so we can actually see how it comes out of the water. It is dipping in and out a lot. We don't want that, so... I mean, that... It, it works! But let's see, if we take these off just now... Was that causing the issue? A flump. Into the water! And go. So it's actually a lot better without the sails. Mm. What if we stick with these sails, then? Like one there and one there. To have a nice wee sails of the... And fly out of water. Oh god. That is probably not the best idea to do. Let's slow down until we actually get, like, something of a floating in the water properly. Okay, that is... Hmm. You know what? We're, we're, we're just going to leave the sails. Because they seem to be causing more issues than worse. So let's see if this this should still work perfectly fine then. I see you hiding down there. 
There we go. So the sales were seem to be causing a bit of an issue. Now we do have three, like, what's it? One, two, three, sort of under the water and one up. I don't know whether to build another platform, because obviously this is one at the water and build a platform to put the, all the guns on and everything. I feel like it should. I feel like it should. Uh, now that is pretty close to the front, so what we're going to need to do is put some, well, this on it. There we go. Right, there we go. And there we go. Let's see how well this works. And let's see, if we have cannons, what if we have three triple mini cannons at the front? That's gonna sink like a log now, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> hi! <laughs> uh, could you kindly get off of the... the Right, so let's see if these guys. Now, what they do need is a bit more weight at the back to actually stop it from fluctuating, which of course these were obliging. Maybe actually put them down. We could. Hmm. What if we did that? Would that stop it from possibly flying about the place? It does. And really, really well. Okay, that's a good idea. We're going to stick with that. Guns on the front. Uh, we need some cannons, though. Uh, we could put cannons there, put cannons there. But what I want to do is actually build a ship that's got cannons, like, down the side. Attention, your ship has now passed the Wind Wild Ships Class Zone. Oh, well. Bullets to it. Does that mean it's going to affect our frame rate? Nope, it's not. Oh, Okay. Now things are getting a bit odd. Just down the water, slowly, slow and steady. There we go. It does need to come out of the water a little bit though. That's the only thing. Because this bit seems to be sitting in the water and the more weight we're going to add to this obviously though, the more it's going to end up in the water. So, hmm. What if we actually take these away? Have them sitting on a little... Hmm. I'm testing something out here to see if it actually works. Yeah, 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 I know. We'll find out how well this actually works. Um, actually, what we might be better doing is using these guys in between. Except do them the right way. And do the same again over here. Because the idea is to kind of encase these, but I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. It's a very trial and error episode we've got going on here, which I'm totally okay with. Where the hell did I just put that thing? Come back here! Right, Hull, we want to go across to these guys again. Weapons. Cannons. Yeah, 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 shoosh. Right, okay, so we have that. Could we possibly put one that way? Put one that way. And fill them. This is, well... Is this actually going to work? Does this actually... Oh. Oh. No. There's not enough power to bring up the back. That's the only thing. Hmm. Now because this is a bigger ship, I'm wondering if we need more of these. What if we put them on? How well will this work now? Probably shoot out of the water. Yep. That's going to shoot out of the water. Right, okay, so we do have enough. It's not really the power that's the problem. It's more like where the weight is getting distributed, and I don't know whether to fill this in a little bit more. Let's try and see what we can do. We put these all down there, and these all down here. Let's see how well this works. About to find out. 
Okay, set sail. Because there is more wood on it, it means there's more weight down the bottom and more to just kind of keep it. But we do need to bring that back up. Like, it's just like all the cannons and everything sitting out of the war, but this bit here is down in the war. So, what if we get rid of this completely? How well does that now work? Now, all the weight is in the front, so that might be a problem. Yeah. What if we put one in? Trial and error, very much trial and error. Now. One in. Let's see. Keeps a little bit of weight. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to build a Titan ship here. <laughs> but it's like trying to get everything to focus being out the water, but not in the water. But maybe we just have too many cannons. No, wait. I mean, we're at full and we are floating, but like things are going on. I want this bit. Like, I want the main decking to not be in the water because, well, this doesn't really happen with boats. But in order to do that, what if we take away the keel? This could go horribly, horribly wrong. Now, having the keel gone seems to have a, a good effect, but it's a wee bit wobbly. So what I might do is put one at the back. See how that does. Okay, no problem. Last way, there we go. Now that is actually mostly keeping this out of the water with a bazillion cannons. <laughs> there is so many cannons on this. Whatever, let's see if we can. I do want to work on actually making this a bit prettier now. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, okay. What happens if we take these out? And make the movement actually just these guys. Okay, that's too big. They don't fit. I'm gonna put one of these at the. <laughs> Let's just try it and see. Let's try it and see. Uh, okay. Well, we're not going anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna be removing that. <laughs> it works to a certain extent, I suppose. I'm just going to quickly save this, but I'm pretty chuffed with that. If you guys think that you might want something added to this, thinking like, right, okay, try this, because it works for what it is. It is, needs to be prettified a little bit. I mean, it does work pretty well. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. I have made a Titan ship, and I'm pretty damn chuffed with it. Uh, it just needs to take a little bit of tweaking and a little bit of doing there. but And I shall see you guys next time.